Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Aftershock Boat 2020. The Aftershock Boat 2020 is their mid tower absolute starting PC in their entire lineup of desktop PCs, and this will be the cheapest option that you can actually find on their website starting from 550 SGD. And we'll get into that a bit later and why this is possibly one of the best value, if not the best value bang for your buck that you can get for a custom PC. But first, let's take a look at the design. The Boat 2020 now features a beautiful, sleek, all steel case that is just gorgeous to look at. And the one here has the gunmetal finish to it, which is sort of a greyish colour with a smooth texture to it. The side back of the case is 90% smooth with the holes here for air ventilation and the front is all grey with the Aftershock logo while the top has air vents and your front panel ports which on this case, there is a single USB 3.0 port, two USB 2.0 ports, headphone and microphone port and to the left of these is the power and reset button. Coming to the side front is where I think this just looks absolutely gorgeous. Don't look at the components first, but take a look at the tempered glass. Notice what is missing? There are actually no thumb screws located here. You are getting just a flat piece of tempered glass, which may be a minor detail, but to me, it looks even more gorgeous just because of this little detail. The tempered glass is actually held in place by two thumb screws that are on the back of the case which when you put your PC on the table for display, it would definitely not be seen and that's why I really like it because for a quote unquote budget case, it definitely does not look like one just because of the look and feel of it. It legit feels like something that should be a lot more expensive. Just some information, this design is actually unique to Aftershock so you actually wouldn't be able to get this anywhere else which is what I think really sets them apart due to the fact that they can actually offer something really unique but doesn't break the bank. Moving on to the lighting that they've managed to put in here. Obviously, the entire thing is RGB, even their AIO cooler is synced up to the fans and case lighting and there are a ton of options that you have. The simplest way would just to be play around with the remote that is included and from here you can change everything from the brightness of the case to the different modes and colors and also adjust the brightness. But if you don't want to play with the remote, when you get this, there will be a software included which you can then control the lighting effects from there also which actually makes it super easy to customize the lighting to your own preferences. Something interesting I've noticed is that even the RAM says Aftershock. Their Aftershock AIO has also been out for quite a while and the fans also have the Aftershock logo on them. The OCD persona in me is just very happy with how many of the items match including the colour scheme because even this particular Zotac GPU has a gunmetal finish to it. Moving on, for cable management, they've done a really good job of ensuring on the front the cables are routed neatly through the holes to the back and then at the back, they've done an even better job at tying up all the loose cables and hiding the unused cables at the bottom. It is certainly very, very cleanly managed. Since we're on the subject of cables, you actually get braided cables with this and the cable comb is included, obviously. The black cables really match the gunmetal finish. It's really just beautiful to look at. Okay, I'm going off a tangent for quite a bit. Now, let's jump into the configurator. Now we're in the Aftershock configurator for the Bolt. And as you can see with the starting price of SGD550, so let's just see with this starting price what you'll be getting. First up, warranty. So you're getting 3 years parts warranty, first year on site, and basically that just means that the first year on site is when they'll go over to your home and diagnose the problems and check out what's going on with the PC and you can just sit in the comfort of your own home and let them do all the work. But the remaining 2 years, you're going to have to bring it into the workshop where they'll still just do all the warranty checking everything and make sure everything is running perfectly. On to the chassis. For the starting price of 550, you'll be getting the Bolt Black Edition tempered glass and if you want the one that I've shown you which is the gunmetal grey or they also have a slate black version, you just have to top up 10 SGD and the thing I like about this is when you click, you're going to be able to see the pictures of the different colorways and also, if you choose to go for the full tempered glass edition, you can also see what that looks like. Moving on to the desktop motherboard, so for this version, you're getting the Astrock B365M with two RAM slots, and this is the base as you can see they've written here. And yeah, 
you can even go for the H310M if you choose to but yeah the Astron one is the recommended version so that's what you'll go with CPU here the base one is the Intel Pentium G5400 so 3.7 gigahertz two cores four threads then you move on thermal compound well basically you're getting a little bit better thermal compound with no extra cost added into this then you go on to the graphics card for the boat there is none if you're starting at this pricing but you can top up later which will go through this in a little while and for the ram you'll be getting 8 gb of ddr4 2666 megahertz ram so one stick cpu cooling you're just getting the stock cooling fan solution which is the base so you don't need to add anything there and here's the ultimate thing which is you're getting a 512 GB M.2 NVMe ultra fast SSD, read speeds at 3200 MB per second and write speeds at 2000 MB per second. And this is actually quite a good deal. I would say like, I don't think there's many that will actually start off at 512 GB. Generally, it's about 256 GB. Then hard drive, you won't be getting anything with this. You get the standard chassis fans for the starting price. Case lighting, there is none was land also none and at this base price there's only the standard cable setup also no operating system you have to add on if you want windows 10 in this and for the power supply you're still getting a 600 watt fsp or evga psu now let's move on to say a mid configuration what kind of pricing will you be expecting so scrolling all the way up warranty same thing three years we don't need to change that for this one, I would probably go with, say, the gunmetal gray. So that's an extra 10 SGD and it's automatically reflected on the side here. Move on to the desktop motherboard. I would probably for a mid-end system, say let's go with a AMD motherboard B450. So that's an extra $30. And if you go here, you can choose your CPU. Let's just go with something easy and basic, the AMD Ryzen 5 3006. Go on, thermal compound, don't you change that. Um, and here, let's go with a 2060 6 GB first, just to see what we can get. From here, we'll upgrade this to a 16 GB, 3200 MHz memory. So 1003 up to now. Let's go with just basic air cooling would do, but EMD's stock fan is actually really pretty good. So I think I'll just leave it on that for now. M.2, same thing, 512 GB is plenty, and maybe you need a little bit of extra space. So let's go with the one terabyte hard drive. Chasey fans, the base one is already pretty nice, but let's just say we want a little more RGB, a little more bling in this. So let's go with this. And with some case lighting, $29, wireless LAN, probably wouldn't need because I think most of us would be able to pull a Ethernet cable out from our modem. And obviously we're going to need some sleeved cables. So let's just go with black, extra $39, operating system, Windows 10 Home 64. And yeah i think that's about it if you're looking for a mid-end uh, pc so that comes up to 1613 sgd so that's well that's a, mid, a very mid-range price last but not least let's just see what the top end of this boat cpu will run up to so first thing first three years parts warranty let's go with the boat premium full tempered glass edition looks very nice then for the motherboard I think the most expensive one now should be for AMD. Then go with the AMD 3900X. Go down a bit. Thermal oh, Grizzly Cryonaut. No need to change that also. And the most expensive and high end GPU that you can find here currently is the ASUS NVIDIA G4 Strix RTX 2080 Ti 11 GB. And they've overclocked this also. For RAM, let's go up to 64. 4 GB is that the highest yes then here obviously let's just go with the most expensive one water cooling NZXT Kraken X52 a 1 terabyte Samsung 970 EVO plus 4 terabytes of HDD 
NZXT RGB fans, NZXT Q2 lighting kit, top end Wi Fi if you really need to, and the cables are still the same pricing, so I'll just leave it at classic black. With Windows 10 Home 64 bit, you don't really need the Pro. Then upgrade the PSU to a gold one, and that comes up to 5,844. So it's literally like 5,000 and 300 SGD more than the base price so that's the highest that you can go obviously you don't need to go this high if you don't want to but it's good to see the option and then from here like I scrolled past it a few times just now but you can actually get like some bundle pricing with this so you can get monitor sound system gaming mice keyboard gaming mouse mats and even secret lab have chairs for this as you saw, with a starting price of 550 SGD, you're getting a budget PC that actually looks gorgeous and obviously you can go up in specs and it is fully customizable so you can choose the components based on your own budget. So who is this Boat 2024? To me, this is made for the people who want a custom PC but maybe lack the knowledge or time to actually build one or those that just want to be able to have a warranty that covers all the components and you can just RMA everything and just have peace of mind because if anything goes wrong with the PC, if you've actually built it yourself, yeah, you're going to have to diagnose and ensure that the problems are all fixed. So I've built my fair share of PCs and trust me, finding what's the problem when a PC won't boot or any other issues is really a tedious task. Even RGB SSDs can cause a PC to actually malfunction. So being able to just bring this back into Aftershock and let them find out what's the problem and actually diagnose and fix it is really just very simple. Anyways, if you're looking for a beautiful PC but still want the ability to customize the PC to your own liking and power kind of thing, do check out the Aftershock Boat 2020. There's really nothing like it in the custom PC market at this point in time, so do let me know in the comments if you see anything that comes close. I'd love to check it out. Remember like and subscribe for more tech and gaming content. Hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come up and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!